Hey everyone, and welcome to Princess Naya Thoughts. Um, for those, if this is your first time watching, um, this is just a quick um, video to discuss different coping mechanisms that I have worked out over the past few months, being a new mum, still um, running my business, um, and trying to look after my household, and yeah, make sure my wifey's CV is up to date. Um, so yeah, so today um, I want to talk about friends, and I want to talk about um, how important your friend circle is. Um, I just want to re-highlight my, my diagram of life that I go by at the moment. Um, mine's just a triangle, um, so at the top is my seven month year old baby and her two teeth have just popped through so the last week has been crazy with the baby. Um, down in this corner I have my business and my project, so um, for those that don't know I run a business called Beanie's Boutique, I'll discuss some of the other stuff that I'm into um, later on down the line. And in this corner is like my household um, and my friends and my family. So the ironing, the washing up, um, the shopping, seeing my friends and all stuff like that. So the reason why I wanted to dis discuss friends today is because I feel like um, as you get older, you see your friends a lot less. Um, maybe you see them at the yearly Christmas dinner or maybe at a friend's birthday. Um, but as you get older, you'll realise that staying over your friend's house, sleeping on the floor, getting so drunk you probably wake up underneath the bed, <laughs> which has happened in my life, um, it kind of stops happening because you tell yourself that you have less time. Um, so I feel like having your friends around you is something that is really, really important. Um, but also I think what is more important is having the right friends around you. Um, sometimes you're forced into a circle of friends by default, by school, college, uni, work etc and you kind of just go with the flow and you stay with your circle of friends for as long as you can because it's the norm now you are a product of your environment whether you like to associate with that term or not you are and do what your friends your friends do you know if you're around a bunch of people that just kind of do nothing then and you're doing something you might feel good because you think well my friends ain't doing shit but I'm doing great. Um, you're never really gonna hit the pinnacle of where you can get. If all your friends are doing amazing stuff or not even doing amazing stuff, just trying to do amazing stuff, then your level of effort will increase because you'll look at what your friends are doing, seeing how hard they're working, all their aspirations and their dreams and working out their problems and what they're doing and you'll gravitate towards that as well, which is why I think Friends for me are really, really important. Now I'm really, really fortunate that a lot of my friends I actually work with, I have projects with. So we have a common interest. And the common interest in my circle of friends is waking up every day and doing what you love. No matter what the pound sign equivalates to at the end of the day, you wake up in the morning and you strive towards getting closer and closer to your dreams. Kids or not, some of my friends have children, some of my friends don't have children. However, the common the nomination is that I wake up in the morning and I go 150% towards getting closer to what I feel my dreams are. And we all encourage each other to do that, you know? Um, and we make sure that we keep each other on our toes. I'm not scared to say that I'm amazing. My friends ain't scared to say that they're amazing. We're not scared to say that each other are amazing. Um, we're not scared to get dressed up on a Sunday and go and have a Sunday roast um, and we do all of these things in order to keep ourselves on our toes, keep ourselves inspired and make sure that by me raising the bar, they want to raise the bar and if they raise the bar, then I want to raise the bar. Um, a close friend of mine bought a pair of Louis Vuitton boots, my god, <laughs> my mouth was open um, and I was like, gosh, I could do with a pair of Louis Vuitton boots right now. Um, however, it's, it's not it's not on the menu at the moment. My daughter's one year old birthday is, however. Um, but it didn't make me look at her and think, oh, I'm so jealous I haven't got those. It made me think, wow, like, yeah, I'm gonna up, I'm gonna up the levels, I'm gonna up, I'm gonna up my game and I'll be showing her whatever it is that I'm gonna purchase um, in a month or two um, because I'm inspired, you know? And it might not be material things, it could be anything. Another one of my friends is always, always sending me audiobooks. Um, he gets up in the morning and he runs at 4.30 every single morning to better himself. And he will send me a message and he'll be like, okay, cool, what you got planned today? What you got planned this month? What you got planned this year? And as my deadlines loom, he calls me, he says, look, 
nah, what's happening? Like, um, you said you're gonna do this by this day, and I'll be like, yeah, but the thing is, and he says, yeah, but you're, we're not excuses people. So I don't wanna hear excuses. And when someone confronts you with what you don't really wanna hear, it makes me feel uncomfortable, but it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable and, oh my gosh, I don't really wanna talk to you anymore. It makes me pull my socks up and get my shit together and makes me push myself in a way that I wouldn't push myself if, as a friend, he didn't make me feel uncomfortable. And most people just want their friends to just make them feel amazing. However, I feel like you need a really great balance of the two. You need the friend that's gonna tell you you ain't shit and you need to get it together because you can do better. And you need your friends to give you that little pat on the back and say, do you know what, you've done an amazing job this year. You know, you've done an amazing job this week, you've done an amazing job today. Be it, you've done an amazing job raising the children, you've done an amazing job getting that new job, you've done an amazing job reading that book and elevating yourself and making changes, you've done an amazing job dropping that loser boyfriend that you've had for however many years. Whatever it is, you need your friends to be able to encourage you, but more importantly, you need them to tell you when it's time to fix up. Don't be scared of the critique. If you want love and compassion and a hug, then probably call your mum. But if you want that real, real, real talk, then make sure you have that friend in your crew or that person in your circle that is always going to challenge you, always going to motivate you and not going to be scared to hear you upset a little bit because you, they push you, you know, to go to the extra mile and to raise the bar and to get yourself in an even better place than you've ever been before. So, yeah, um, as I mentioned, I do Sunday race with my friends. I go to... Um, a lot of events. I went to a gold digger event with a couple of my friends um, last week, which was absolutely amazing. Um, I do loads of different stuff um, that is exciting. I do some really crazy, boring shit. Like I had my friends around the other day just to make cupcakes. We had a um, competition because we're quite savage like that. So there's a lot of different things that you can do just to make sure that you are enjoying each other. But more than ever before, make sure you're uplifting one another and you're challenging each other as well. Um, so yes, if anyone wants to be challenged by me, um, pop a comment in the in the um, the box below, and I'll get at you and give you some give you some motivation. But yeah, that's me, Princess Knife Thoughts Part Two. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you please leave a comment. Let me know how you're, what you think. If you have any topics you want me to discuss, I'll make sure I bang it in the next one. Peace and love.